Welcome to Nikhil Data Solutions. On this channel, we dive deep into the world of business intelligence, data analytics, data engineering, data integration, and data warehousing. We bring you tutorials, tips, and industry insights on how to work with powerful tools like Power BOE, SQL, ETL processes, and more. If you are eager to learn how to turn raw data into meaningful reports or how to build efficient data pipelines, you are in the right place. Data plays a crucial role in various industries by helping businesses make informed decisions, improve processes, optimize operations, and drive innovation. In today's video, we are going to compare two essential data modeling techniques used in SQL Server, the STAR schema and the Snowflake schema. Both of these are used in data warehousing, and understanding the difference between them is crucial for designing efficient database systems. Let's break down what they are, how they differ, and when to use each one. So, let's get started. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the STAR schema. The STAR schema is a simple and straightforward data model used in data warehouse. It consists of a central fact table connected to multiple dimension tables, forming a STAR-like structure. This leads to faster query performance in many cases. Now, Let's move on to the Snowflake Schema. The Snowflake Schema is a more complex version of the STAR Schema, where the dimension tables are normalized. This means that the data in the dimension tables is split into additional tables to reduce redundancy. Let me show you the diagrams of both the schemas. Here is the diagram of STAR Schema. In this diagram, a central fact table surrounded by dimension tables. These dimension tables are directly linked to the fact table, which makes the schema look like a star with a fact table in the center and the dimension tables radiating outward. A fact table typically stores quantitative data like sales amount, while dimension tables hold descriptive attributes related to that data, like customer names, product details, or date information. The simplicity of the STAR schema makes it ideal for reporting and analysis, since there are fewer joins between the tables. Next diagram is the Snowflake schema. In this diagram, in this example, Instead of having dimension tables directly linked to the fact table, the dimension tables are normalized. This means that they are broken down into multiple related tables to reduce redundancy and improve data consistency. For example, in the Snowflake schema, our product dimension table might be split into several smaller tables, such as product category, stores ID split into region and customers is split into locations. These smaller tables are then linked together and connected to the central fact table. While the Snowflake schema reduces data redundancy and storage requirements, it can lead to more complex queries due to the increased number of joins. Now let's move on SQL Server Management Studio to see how to create data model practically. I have created the table like fact sales, product, customer, time and store and then I inserted the values in all the fact and dimension table. Now to create data model go to database diagram then right click and new database diagram then the whole table will be visible that has been created. Add one by one all the table and all the table will be added gradually. After added the tables we have to create relationship between them if not created automatically. Let's resize all the table. We will move the fact table to the center and the connect all the dimension table to the fact table. Drag product ID from product and relate to product ID from fact sales and click on OK. Similar to this, connect store ID from dimension to fact and click OK and repeat it for all tables. Now the star schema modeling is completed. Let's move to create snowflake schema data model. To create this schema, I have created the table like fact sales, products, customers, times and stores and then I inserted the values in all the fact and dimension tables and I repeat the same process as star schema to create the relationship. This is the complete diagram of snowflake schema. In this example all dimension tables are connected to the fact table and the dimension tables are connected to the sub-dimension table like store to region, product to category and customers to location, now the data modeling is completed. So today, we've covered the basics of setting up a snowflake schema in SQL Server, 
from creating dimension and fact tables to inserting values. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more business intelligence, data analytics and database tips. Also, feel free to drop your questions or suggestions in the comments below. I really appreciate you spending your time here with me. Your support means a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.